14 teams are going to make the playoffs, seven in the AFC, seven in the NFC. The biggest playoff field we have ever seen in the history of the NFL. But how many of these teams are actually capable of winning the Super Bowl? And the way I look at it is, if you're going to be the wild card team, which 12 of these teams are going to be, you have to be capable of winning three games in a row against three outstanding teams. And if you're going to get the bye week like Green Bay, it appears, and certainly like Kansas City are, you got to be able to win two games. So I want to break this down and have a little discussion here. I'm going to tell you guys who I believe is capable of winning the Super Bowl, NFC and AFC. And I want you guys to listen to my arguments and tell me whether you agree or disagree. So let's start in the NFC. I don't think there would be any disagreement that the Green Bay Packers are capable of winning the uh, Super Bowl. They are on fire as we come down the stretch. They just put a beating on the Titans. Uh, They have won, how many games is it in a row? Five games in a row. The last time they lost was in overtime on the road against the Colts. And if you'll remember, they had control of that game and kind of choked it away. The other game that they lost uh, was back on November 1st against uh, the Vikings. A little bit of an ominous loss there because Dalvin Cook just went off on the Green Bay Packers. But given the home field advantage in Lambeau, and I think you saw it on Sunday night against the Titans, The Titans weren't ready to play in the snow. They kind of tiptoed into that game. They were down 19-0. The Packers were very comfortable. Nobody could cover Devontae Adams. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, four touchdown passes, only had to throw the ball 25 times. Basically, no pressure on him the entire game. I don't think there is anybody out there who is an NFL fan that doubts that the Green Bay Packers can win two games in Lambeau and advance to play in the Super Bowl down in Tampa. So I am going with Green Bay, indisputably, very much a legit Super Bowl contender. I think they can get it done. I think the Saints can get it done as well. Right now, the Saints are slotted in as the number two seed. They have lost, I'm sorry, Saints fans, for having to bring it up, three straight years in the postseason on the final play of the game. That is absolutely crushing. You had the Minnesota Miracle, the play that I would have made for longtime listeners here, I would have never allowed that pass to be complete. And if it had been complete, I would have made the tackle. I've been arguing that for three years. Yeah, right. Right. The Minnesota miracle. (laughs) Then you had the worst call ever, maybe in a major, uh, major NFC or AFC championship game where they blew the pass interference call. And as a result, the Saints end up losing in overtime to the Rams. And then last year, Uh, Kyle Rudolph, I believe it was, in overtime. Uh, I think it was overtime. Was it overtime at the very end of the game? Last play of the game. Uh, I think it was was overtime. But Kyle Rudolph makes the catch in the back right corner in the Superdome for the Minnesota Vikings uh, to win that football game and, uh, and beat the Saints again. All right? I think the Saints, with Drew Brees back healthy, I love their defense. I like what Taysom Hill, certainly Alvin Kamara, six touchdown uh, t- touchdowns he scored in the most recent game for the Saints. I like the Saints to be able to win three consecutive games if necessary. Seattle. This is almost entirely a faith in Russell Wilson, but I think the Seahawks can get it done. I have confidence in Russell Wilson. The defense has actually become the bigger story for the Seahawks. I think they could win three games in a row in Seattle and go on and win the Super Bowl. So the first three seeds I feel confident in in the NFC. Whoever wins the NFC East home playoff game there, zero chance to win the Super Bowl. Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I'm going to be honest with you, even as good as Tom Brady is, I don't really feel like they can go on the road and win three straight games coming out of the wild card round. They've never done it before. They would probably have to play the Saints, who have just dominated against uh, against the Bucks so far. Um, and I just don't see them winning three games in a row. The Rams, the Bears, or the Cardinals, none of those teams have a chance, in my opinion, to get hot if they were to make the playoffs. So, so I think there are three teams that can represent the NFC in the postseason. 
the Packers, the Saints, and the Seahawks. I don't think anybody else is a realistic contender. Danny G, you buying or selling those three, and is there anybody else you would add to the equation in the NFC? I definitely like those three. Green Bay, uh, the Saints, and the Seahawks, they all have good enough defenses to go deep. Tampa Bay, you're right. That defense looked really good at the start all of the three season. Have, by the way, Hall of Fame quarterbacks. You're right. Too. Yeah. Don't even need to mention their offenses because we know about that. But you're right. It comes down to defense here, especially when we get into the playoffs. And man, that Seahawks defense has looked good lately. We know all about the Saints defense. And Green, Green Bay's defense has kind of been under the radar throughout the season, but they are good enough to get it done. Tampa Bay, I'm right there with you. They are kind of on the on the borderline. Rams, if Jared Goff, no, the Rams have no, the Rams the have no chance to for, win three for, games in a row. First of all, look who the Rams' backup is, who's about to play because of uh, Jared Goff's thumb uh, surgery. If the Rams had like a Marcus Mariota type backup, then I would be confident that their defense could carry them because they are a running team and their defense is one of the best in the NFL. But no, with how things sit right now, they are not going to get it done. Yeah, so three teams, you agree with me? Yep, three teams. Uh, Dub, would you agree that those are the only three that can win the NFC? Yeah, I would. And speaking to Danny G's point, if you would have asked this question three weeks ago, I would have definitely had the Rams in there. But losses yeah. to the Jets and then last week against Seattle. Jared Goff, that was probably the worst I've ever seen him play. I get he was injured part of that game, but my God, that was awful. Yeah, you get the sense that Sean McVay wants to choke uh, Jared Goff out, right? Like, if they were in an MMA ring, uh, you just look over on the sideline, and he seems very, very frustrated with with Jared Goff. And this is one of those situations where it seems like sometimes this happens. Uh, that My Titans, for example, are a, a, a perfect uh, representation of this. For a long time, you want for one side of your team to be a lot better than they are. And then finally, that side gets good, and the side that you've been relying on to be good for several years stinks. And, uh, and, and so the Rams, for a long time, they've been like, man, if we just had a little bit better defense. You know, Sean McVay's an offensive genius. We're going to score points. We're going to make plays there. We don't even need to worry about the offensive side of the ball. And now the Rams might have the best defense in the NFL, and their offense has fallen apart. Same thing has happened, by the way, with my Titans. Titans may have one of the, they don't, they don't may have, they have one of the best offenses ever, probably the best offense in the history of the franchise. The defense has always been kind of a calling card for the Titans, and suddenly the defense collapses. If the Titans just have an average defense this year, then we're talking about the Titans. We'll get to them in a little bit as a legitimate Super Bowl contender. Instead, I don't think they are because the defense is just so bad. Um, so I think that's what's dealing and, and going on with the Rams right now. So uh, Eddie Garcia, three teams that we believe in in the NFC. Are those the only three teams that can win and advance to the postseason based on what we've seen through 15, 15 games? I, I think I believe a little bit more in Tampa Bay than it seems like the group does. But So you think they could win three games in a row on the road because that's probably what they were going to have to do in order. I mean, and I say probably because there's always the possibility that the six or the seven seed could win a couple of games and Tampa Bay could get to host a playoff game even though they'd be the five seed. But the likelihood is that Tampa Bay would have to win three games in a row on the road. Well, I'll put it this way. I'm as confident that they can do it as Seattle can do it. I can see that a little bit. Um, maybe, maybe, but I feel like the Seahawks have been more consistent than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have been. Now, if you want to point to the Bucs being able to do it, what you would point to is the best win of the year by far for the Bucs. They destroyed the Green Bay Packers early in the season. What was the score of that game? Like 38 to 10? That's the best game that the that the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers have played all season. I believe Green Bay was undefeated when they went into Tampa Bay, if I'm not mistaken, 3-0 and or 4-0 and or whatever the heck it was. And Tampa Bay absolutely obliterated them. It's the best game Tampa Bay has played all season. 38-10, like week four, week five, something like that. And that's where you would point to it and say – Hey, the Bucks have a chance, but what we've seen against the what we've seen from the Bucks down the stretch has not convinced me that they have a chance to win three straight games. Because as good look, Tom Brady has won the divorce with Bill Belichick, and I think if you're a Bucks fan, and I had told you 
that the Bucs were going to go 11-5 and because I think there's a good chance they beat the Falcons to finish the season. If I had told you they were going to go 11-5 and and they would win the final four games of their season, I think you would have been pretty impressed with that. But basically down the stretch run of the season, every time the Bucs played a good team, they found a way, it felt like to me, to lose down the stretch run of the season. Remember the big game that the Saints and the Bucks were going to play where the Bucs were going to get their revenge back on November 8th? Saints came to town and won 38-3, okay? And then everybody's, well, like the Rams are coming to town. They have to travel all the way across the country, and the Rams dominated that game even though they only won by three. And then the next week, you're like, oh, the Bucs are going to bounce back here. Now they're in good shape. And then the Chiefs came to town and they were up 17 nothing. and Tyreek Hill had like 200 yards receiving in the first 20 minutes of that game. And so, yes, the Bucs have beaten the Vikings, the Falcons, and the Lions down the stretch run here, but I just don't feel like there's any way possible that they're going to go on the road. And remember what they would have to do. Let's give them the win over the NFC East team. Then we're talking a decent chance that the Bucs would have to go on the road the next week in Lambeau against the Packers. That seems like a pretty tall order that the Bucs would have to come across. And then even if they won that game, they're then likely to have to go on the road against either the Saints, who have whipped them twice by double digits, or they would have to go on the road against Seattle and travel all the way across the country from Tampa Bay to win that game. I just don't think the Bucs are a legitimate contender. I think there are three Super Bowl contenders right now in the NFC, uh, and those teams are the Packers, the Saints, and the Seahawks right now. What about the teams from the AFC? The Kansas City Chiefs clearly can win the Super Bowl. They are, in fact, the prohibitive favorite to repeat as Super Bowl champs. They have won 23 of their last 24 games, which is unheard of. By the way, even if this were, say, the NBA or college basketball, if a team goes 23-1, and one, certainly in Major League Baseball or hockey, we all sit back and we're like, wow, that's an incredible accomplishment. To do it in the NFL is frankly almost unheard of how good the Kansas City Chiefs have been in the last 24 games to win 23 of them in a year and a half of football is unprecedented. Their only loss against the Raiders, they've played a lot of close games, but clearly the Chiefs can win the Super Bowl. I think that the Buffalo Bills can win the Super Bowl as well. Josh Allen has been a revelation. It's no great uh, surprise that Patrick Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers are the top two MVP contenders this year. It appears Aaron Rodgers is going to win the MVP. But I don't think anybody out there anticipated that Josh Allen was going to be as phenomenally good as he has been this year. The Bills are sitting at 12-3. and three. They're the number two overall seed in the playoffs right now. I don't have any doubt at all that they could go to the Super Bowl. In fact, I think they are the biggest threat to the Kansas City Chiefs that is out there. Okay, so I believe in the Chiefs. I believe in the Bills. I'm going to stun everybody now. I think those are the only two teams from the AFC that are capable of going to the Super Bowl. I don't buy into anybody else. Have you watched the Pittsburgh Steelers play over the last several weeks of the year? Yes, they got hot in the second half and they beat the Indianapolis Colts. But I don't believe that the Steelers have what it takes to win three straight games in the postseason. Not after we just saw them lose three of their last four games. The Titans right now are sitting as the four seed. I don't think they have the defense to be able to win three straight games. In particular, the Titans have the worst third down defense right now in the history of the NFL. The Titans have allowed 52.5% of their opponent's third down percentages to be converted this season. That is the worst third down defense that has ever existed in the history of the NFL. That is a stat you do not want to lead the league in. 
as good as the Titans can be on the offensive side of the ball, and they can be very good, Derrick Henry potentially rushing for 2,000 yards. You've got A.J. Brown and Corey Davis, both 1,000-yard receivers. John U. Smith at tight end. This is a really, really skilled offense for the Titans. Ryan Tannehill has obviously been playing very well. They have no chance in my mind to win three straight games based entirely on how bad their defense is. It's an Achilles heel. Right now, the Miami Dolphins would be your five seed. Tua is not good enough at quarterback as good as this defense is. Ryan Fitzpatrick is not good enough as the relief pitcher. The Miami Dolphins are not good enough to win three straight games on the road to go to the Super Bowl. The Baltimore Ravens. I understand people are getting fired up about the Baltimore Ravens, but when the Ravens have tended to play against good teams, they have crumbled. They lost to Kansas City. They lost to the Titans. They lost twice to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are 0-4 right now against the best teams in the AFC. I don't believe that the Baltimore Ravens would be capable of going on the road and winning three straight playoff games. Right now, by the way, Baltimore would be going on the road against Buffalo. Josh Allen against Lamar Jackson, that would be a phenomenal wild card round playoff game. But even if the Baltimore Ravens won that game, they next would probably have to go on the road against the Kansas City Chiefs. I just don't think there's any way that the Ravens are good enough this year to go on the road and beat the Bills and then the next week go on the road and beat a rested Kansas City Chiefs team. I don't believe that Baltimore can win the Super Bowl. I don't believe that the Cleveland Browns or the Indianapolis Colts, whoever might come out of that seven seed, uh, would be able to win three games in a row either. The Browns have just been way too enigmatic, way too unreliable. I don't believe in Baker Mayfield to win three straight road games in the postseason, and neither do you. And I don't believe enough in the Indianapolis Colts either. Uh, And so I believe as good as their AFC is, and it's potentially the case that they are going to have eight different teams that win 11 or more games. I think the only two teams that are capable of going to the Super Bowl out of the AFC are the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. That might be a little bit of of a surprising perspective from me. Uh, because there are a lot of people out there that want to sell you on the idea that there are many different teams that could find their way into the postseason. But that means my total is, out of the 14 teams that are advancing to the postseason in the NFL, I think there are five that can win the Super Bowl. The In the NFC, the Packers, the Saints, and the uh, Seattle Seahawks, and in the AFC, the Chiefs and the Bills. Danny G, you buying or selling that theory? selling i'm a little surprised i wrote down four teams chiefs and the bills obviously the bills were my preseason super bowl pick so i'm sticking with them but i also have the steelers and the colts last week that was an amazing comeback against the colts that the steelers had it looked like the old big ben if he looks like that in the playoffs i would not bet against him and mike Tom. they're not going to win three games I, I don't I, I don't think you could say that. I think you can. If you've watched them play the last month, there's no way they're going to win three playoff games against three good teams. And also the Colts. What a defense. And they are a running team, which counts for something in the playoffs, as you know. So I, I just think that you need to count the Steelers and the Colts in there. I don't think that you can have either of them off of your list right now. I think I might have misspoken, by the way, now that I'm looking at it. I think the Bills would be scheduled to play against the seven seed, which potentially would be the Colts. Right, right, right. Uh, I think I said they would be playing against the Ravens. The Ravens would be going on the road right now if the schedule was set up as it is against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And by the way, I think the Ravens would win that game, even though they've lost to two times uh, to the Steelers already. I do think that they would find a way to win that one based on the way those two teams are playing. Uh, All right, what about you, Dub? Uh, You buying or selling my idea that there are two teams in the AFC that can actually win the Super Bowl? I'm selling. I think there's three, and you just named the third team for me. It's Baltimore. See, I I understand that argument, but the Ravens would have to go on the road and beat the Steelers and then they might have to go on the road and beat the Chiefs, and then they might have to go on the road and beat uh, the Bills because you know they're going to have to play, theoretically, three games in a row on the road. I just don't see that being possible. I understand that argument, but from my point of view, 
what happens in these games is bad weather. And if there's one team that's equipped to play a game in bad weather, it's Baltimore because they can run the ball on anybody. And Lamar Jackson, the last four games, he's been looking to run 94 yards, 124 yards, 80 yards, and 35 yards. That's over 300 yards the last four games. And if there's one guy you don't want to see in the open field, I think it's Lamar Jackson. The defense has been playing really well, too. So I think there's more than two teams. I think you got to throw Baltimore in there as well. Eddie Garcia, what would you say? I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Clay. Um, I, I'm not a believer in my Steelers. Um, it, it would be nice uh, if Ben Roethlisberger could play all of his uh, games like he did in the second half against the Colts, but he hasn't done that all year. Uh, they've been a team that a lot of times, even during their 11-game winning streak, they play a great half, but they, the, 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 either the first half or the second half would be really mediocre, and you can't advance deep in the playoffs playing one really good half of football. So I wouldn't include my Steelers in there. I'd actually put your Titans ahead of my Steelers if I were kind of ranking the teams one through four. I'd have Tennessee three and Pittsburgh Blast four. For me. Yeah, I'm just being real, realistic by what I see. I don't believe in the Ravens at all. I don't believe in Lamar Jackson in the playoffs. I don't care what the weather is like. So I'll have to uh, agree with you that it's Kansas City and Buffalo. Yeah, it's interesting. If you look at the uh, futures odds right now in the AFC, the Kansas City Chiefs are minus 133 is the number that I'm seeing right now uh, on Fox Bet. And I'll look at FanDuel too. Um, and by the way, sometimes people say, uh, you use Fox Better, you use FanDuel. Um, it's the same company, right? Just two, it's like Coke and uh, Sprite, right? They're owned by the same company. So um, I, I think it's kind of, uh, I think it's kind of interesting just to look at their difference. And the Chiefs have almost the exact same odds. So the Chiefs are minus one thirty at FanDuel, and the Buffalo Bills are the next most likely team at plus four fifty followed by the Ravens at seven and a half to one, the Steelers at 10 to one and the Tennessee Titans at 13 to one, the Colts at 17 to one Browns, 25 to one. The Dolphins are 37 to one. That's not to win the Super Bowl. That's to win the AFC. So the chiefs are basically, they're telling you that they are more than 50% likely to actually make uh, the postseason. And if you're curious on the NFC, it's a lot more jumbled at the top. The uh, odds makers are telling you there are four teams that could win the NFC. The Green Bay Packers, two to one. New Orleans Saints, just shy of three to one. Seahawks, four to one. And the Bucks are five to one before you get to the Rams at 12 to one. So um, I think there are five teams that are out there that have a legitimate chance to, uh, to win, but that's pretty intriguing. 